I'm Brad Jacobson. I like big barrels and I cannot lie. You other surfers can't deny that when a wave rolls in with a big old face and a barrel you must embrace, you get sprung and you want to pull in. Alright, in all seriousness, I love barrels. It's my absolute most fun thing to shoot. And I love the big ones, small ones, and even the closeouts. There is an art to riding barrels. The old phrase, act like you've been there before, applies to barrel riding. When done correctly, the surfer makes it look easy and relaxed, standing straight with their arms calmly down at their sides. When a non-surfer sees this, they must be thinking, that looks so easy, not knowing everything that took place for the surfer to be in that position. Obviously, this can't be done on smaller waves. It's a similar approach on small waves, but instead of standing straight and tall, the surfer will now bend at the knees and waist Not at the back. Nobody wants to see that. There is an exception to having your arms down by your side. That is to extend them over your head and in the extreme cases out to the sides in a T formation. This helps show how big the barrel is and how much room there is inside. But Brad, does this still go for closeouts? Absolutely. Showing no fear when pulling into a grinding closeout gets you extra style points. Keep in mind that no one can tell when you've soiled your wetsuit. Let's back up a bit. There are different types of barrels. The top of the list is that perfect barrel that the average surfer will experience maybe a handful of times throughout their life. This is the barrel where the surfer drops in, tucks into the barrel, gets deep and comes out with the spit standing relaxed in the barrel from the takeoff to the shoulder. A lot of things must come together for this to happen, starting with where the surfer is in comparison to the peak of the wave. On takeoff, they need to be in that sweet spot. This is where knowledge of that particular surf spot pays off. This surfer has seen thousands of waves break here and learned its patterns. I've seen plenty of days where the locals were scoring in and out barrels while everyone else packing closeouts. The second type of barrel is what I like to call the freight train. This barrel is fast, too fast to just stand there and wait to come out. Standing still in a barrel like this will have you clearing salt water out of your sinuses for days. You have to work for this one. Pumping for speed is essential to have any chance of making it. This is the most difficult barrel to pull off because so many things can go wrong. You pretty much have to be moving from the takeoff all the way to the shoulder. Unlike the perfect barrels, these usually require a different exit plan. These doggy door escapes are not easy and if they're not timed out right, will lead to some serious beatdowns. The craziest barrels of all is the closeout. Almost anyone can pull into a closeout. The true art is to make it seem like you have no fear even though there's a chance that your wetsuit and or swimsuit is about to be ripped off your body while your head is getting slammed into the bottom. These are the most violent of all barrels so it's best to stay calm when charging into one of these beasts. Pulling into one of these will give you a good understanding of what your clothes go through during the rinse cycle.
There is also an art of knowing when not to pull in and just simply get the heck out of the way because you want nothing to do with a wave like that. This wave has ill intentions and will send you to an extended stay at the hospital. One of the most beautiful things to watch is the art of the stall. Sometimes surfers want to stall in order not to speed ahead of the barrel. The two most used stall methods are the hand drag and the lean back. These names are not official, but are the best I could come up with. The hand drag is when a surfer drags their hands into the face of the wave in order to slow themselves down. The lean back is when the surfer distributes their weight to their back foot, essentially applying the brakes. Here's one you don't see often, the push off. And we can't forget the art of the claim. Now, I'm not sure if claiming is an actual art, but I kind of like them. Shows the excitement of making that ever so hard to find in and out barrel. Yeah, there's more types of barrels. Feel free to comment below with any other type of barrel that you've seen. So people, if the barrel's round and you don't mind getting thrown down, dial 1-900 in the slot and kick them close out thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'm Brad Jacobson and I'll see you on the sand.